This spring, I caught up with one of my favorite instructors as he gave a workshop at the Tilden Botanical Gardens on Ceanothus, commonly known as the California lilac. Size really varies tremendously. So, Ceanothus, the genus ranges from ground covers just a few inches tall to small trees 20 feet tall. And the flowers are fragrant in almost all species and that fragrance draws bees to the garden. So some of them are late winter bloomers, others are early spring, and there's some Ceanothus that bloom as late as May and June, some of the ones from the mountains. So therefore, if you plan your garden properly, you can have Ceanothus in bloom for almost six months of the year. In terms of leaves, the leaves can be very narrow, they can be broad and almost round. They are sometimes toothed. They're sometimes smooth. Most Ceanothus, once they're established, and I always say that because once they're established could be a couple of years or more, and again planting in the fall when the rains come, allowing through the first summer doing some deep watering to get those roots really well established, but once that's the case, Ceanothus don't like irrigation, most of them during the summer. Again, the ones near the coast can take some, but in the inland species really they will die on you if you water them too much in the summer. Ceanothus grow fast. And by fast growing, I mean some of them within four or five years have reached a full size. And so in a garden, what does that translate to? Using them as fillers for the slower growing plants in your garden. Ceanothus have nitrogen fixing nodules on their roots. That allows them to grow in very nutrient poor soils. And again, the lesson here for horticulture, you don't have to fertilize. You don't have to worry about nutrition in your soil. They, they do the job pretty well themselves. But also in nature, what that means is that as those roots die, they release nitrogen into the ground for other shrubs that are slower growing. So they really make a beautiful succession in a garden for those reasons, fast growing and nitrogen fixing nodules on the root. So I hope you'll think about that as you create a garden, that's really important. Mm -hmm.